Integrity and credibility are some of the words that resonate at the punch or resonated at the punch photo exhibition in com commemoration of the newspaper's 50th anniversary, which held in Lagos. Correspondent Lovi Kuku Oyedekun reports that the exhibition showcased images of hope and humanity of people and power brokers, activists, intellectuals, and many more. The report. This are some iconic photographs from the Punch newspaper's rich archives. The three-day photo story exhibition is part of activities lined up to mark the Golden Jubilee. Titled Timeless Lenses, a newspaper's visual journey through Nigeria, the iconic photographs are reminiscent of the rich history of Nigeria and her people. Foremost journalist and former commissioner for tourism, arts and culture in Lagos State, Steve Ayorinde, is a curator. He takes everyone present on a breathtaking and memorable journey of the newspaper over the years. Of all the pictures that we have here, uh, this is the only portrait. And then you want to argue that uh, this is the most input ordinary the exhibition affords viewers ample opportunity to see some unique and striking photographs from the pictorial archive of the Punch newspaper. Adeyeye Joseph gives a brief insight into the selection process of the photographs. In our collection, we have uh, different types of photographs. You know, and uh, we place a specific, um, particular premium on photographs that, on their own, without the need for long stories and long or lengthy uh, captions, you know, are able to tell the story. And when you look around, you see that some of the photographs you see here uh, tell very compelling stories that perhaps even you may not necessarily need, you know, uh, a caption, lengthy or short, to get the essence of the story. So we make that a priority. Wumi Tunde Obe and Angela Emua are children of the late founder of the Punch newspaper. Looking back, they are grateful to see how their late father's legacy has blossomed. I feel very, very, very happy elated, a sense of pride, you know, because um, I think we've managed to weather the storm, you know, we, I mean, to ride with the punches, literally, um, because um, changes happen, and I think we've managed to ride with those changes. We are, um, I wouldn't say, I, 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 I always say we can always do better. I will always say that, but I think that um, we have done well, and um, I'm very, very pleased with the way we've, um, we've evolved. As the children of uh, the late founding chairman of Punch Newspapers, where, you know, it's, it, it was a, we were able to achieve our aim and to live out his dream. His dream had always been for his children to continue his legacy and for the dream of the Punch to never die. You know, he was always... He, even up till his last moments, it was always like punch must not die. And, you know, so we thank God today. I mean, 40 years later, we know he's smiling down on us. And I believe he's proud. I mean, it's, it's been nice to know that he's proud. And that makes us smile that, Dad, we didn't let you down. You know, here we are and we're still going strong. So. I've been involved with punch over the years. And uh, it's a thing of joy to see that the children of a uh, late friend of mine, I've, I've all worked hard to keep the flag flying. I congratulate them. It's not easy for a family to unite and uh, carry on the legacy of uh, their father. It's a great achievement. The week-long event continues with a public lecture to be delivered by Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.